And now to a story that we've been following for the past couple of weeks. People lined up to apply for food assistance after Hurricane Harvey. Well, today is the last day to apply for the program known as DSNAP. Channel 2's Anusha Rasta is live at the GRB in downtown Houston, where people are still applying. Anusha. Keith, that's right. There are still a lot of people coming out here to the GRB to apply for those DSNAP benefits, but the line has been moving the whole time, so that's good news. It has not been chaotic, and there are several police officers working security out here. Now, this location is open until 7 o'clock this evening for anyone who wants to apply for DSNAP benefits. Remember that you will need to apply in person. You do need to bring a government-issued ID like a driver's license. Hours and hours in line. For some, a wait that started yesterday. We've been out here since about 10 o'clock. At 2 this morning, at 5 p.m., at the line to start at 8 p.m. In the last few days, thousands of people have waited in these long lines to get into the George R. Brown Convention Center for DSNAP benefits. DSNAP meaning Disaster Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. Money for food for victims of Harvey. Folks wrapped in blankets and camped outside the GRB in a line that wrapped around the massive building about a mile long. No, we, we come to work. Like for five days, we don't work. My husband don't work, I don't work, so we come to get the money for the food and today is the last day to apply for help some local faith leaders demanding that congressional leaders and the governor extend that deadline one more week the needs of people children the elderly and all in between cannot be constrained by deadlines artificially set by man. The DSNAP card can cover food expenses for almost two months for folks who qualify. Now, DSNAP is a Texas Health and Human Services program. They have announced that they are expanding their program and offering it to Galveston, Wharton, and Montgomery counties starting October 9th and October 16th. For more information about locations and times, just look for this story on our website. That's click2houston.com. Reporting live from downtown Houston, Anusha Rasta, KPRC Channel 2 News.